Hi, I'm the Bomb, and in this video, I'll be guiding you through the first encounter in the siege area of Oldwar, Flame Leviathan. In this video, I'll discuss kiting, flame vents, ram, system overload, and vehicle jobs. I will begin with kiting. When Flame Leviathan focuses on your vehicle, you must start kiting him around the room, either in a clockwise or counterclockwise fashion, which should be discussed before engaging the boss. He will chase your vehicle for about 30 to 45 seconds until he switches targets, at which point the new target continues to kite. A common spell this boss uses is Flame Vents. This is a 10 second channeled spell that deals 2000 damage per second to anyone around it. This spell should be interrupted immediately with Electroshock, an ability the driver of the siege engine has. No one should ever be directly in front of the boss, because if you are, it will ram you, which deals damage, knocks you back, and applies a debuff that increases damage taken by 100% for a few seconds. This could prove deadly if he is chasing you. I will now discuss System Overload, which is key to defeating Flame Leviathan. On Normal, the boss has two turrets on his back, and four on Heroic. These need to be destroyed as quick as possible, because when they do, two things will happen. First of all, the stacking debuff on the boss that increases his speed by 5% for every stack will reset. Secondly, the boss will become stunned for a few seconds, and be given a debuff that increases its damage taken by 50%, which is when DPS should go nuts. The way to get these turrets down is to shoot someone on his back, and the way to do this is using a salvage demolisher. Before I continue, I should mention that only ranged DPS should be going on his back. Also, on Heroic, everyone on his back will be taking damage every second, so a healer is required along with 3 DPS. Now, the 6 key in the passenger of the demolisher is an ability that lowers them into the catapult. The 6 key on the driver in the demolisher is an ability that shoots the person in the catapult onto Flame's back, with of course the requirement to aim the shot. Once on the back, explode with DPS and cause a shutdown as quick and as many times as possible. This is a side note. Never reject yourself from Flame's back or else you may get glitched and not obtain a parachute and fall to your death. I will now detail each vehicle's job. The Salvage Chopper. During this encounter, the choppers have two jobs. Lay down tar, which will be ignited and will cause damage to any enemy standing inside it, and pick up people that are ejected from Flame Leviathan's back after a shutdown. Choppers should be looking in the sky when overload is happening so that they can spot and drive up to the ejected players and pick them up. If they are not picked up, they will probably die from the continuous 700 damage per second to anyone in the room. When you obtain a passenger, it is your duty to take them to a demolisher so they can be shot up again. Other abilities include healing the passenger in your vehicle, which should be done whenever a passenger is in the chopper. The last ability is Sonic Horn, which is a DPS attack that is never used during this encounter. Salvage Demolishers during this encounter, demolisher drivers have four jobs and passengers have one. The passenger's job is to load themselves onto the catapult. Coincidentally, the driver's job is to shoot the passenger on flames back as quick as possible when they are in the catapult. Their other two jobs include DPSing the boss hard and helping choppers recover ejected raid members. Their final job is to run away from Flame Leviathan when he is charging them. Finally, the salvage siege engine. The siege engine is basically a tank. The driver and the passenger both have two main jobs. The driver's first job is to interrupt flame vents as quick as possible. Their second job is to flee from the boss when they are being charged. The passenger jobs are simple. First job is to DPS like crazy and help ignite the tar on the ground. The second job is to put up a shield when Flame Leviathan is chasing them and is very close to them.